Hi there, this is Umesh from Pixel Perfect, and today we're gonna save tons of time just by using tool presets. Now, what are tool presets? Let's think of it in this way. For example, you're painting blue skies with watercolor on a canvas. Will any brush do it? No, right? You have to pick the right size brush. So you go ahead and pick a big fan brush. Then you pick the colors that you want, probably blue in this case, blue mixed with a little bit of white, and then you dip it in water and probably mix it back inside of the palette, and then you start painting. So if you want to paint blue skies, does just picking up brush and just starting painting on the canvas will do it? No, you have to go through that procedure of picking the right size brush, the right color, dipping in the right amount of water, probably mixing it previously, and then all kinds of stuff. So instead of going through all of the processes, what if you could just say, I want to paint a blue sky, and instantly a ready-made brush would come up with the color selected, with the water dipped in, everything done of the right size, and you just start painting. What if that could happen? For example, you just wanna say, I wanna paint the land, and accordingly, a brush would show up. You wanna paint the water, you wanna paint the trees, and accordingly, the brush would show up easily, and you can just start painting in with that. That's where tool presets come into existence. So we're gonna explore how to create these tool presets and thus making your work much faster. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are on Photoshop and this is a sample image that I created just for demonstration purposes and tool presets are something which can be applied to any tool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show that to you with the help of the text tool. So let's go ahead and click on the text tool and the first thing that we have to do is to create a default tool preset. Now what is a default tool preset? For example, you're working with the text tool and you changed a lot of fonts and you changed the font weight and you changed the font size and made all of these messy changes here over there in the characters and the paragraph and so on and so forth. Now, you wanna reset everything back to normal. Yes, you can do it, there's a way to do it, but what if there was just a button? So you can click on that button and everything would reset back to normal. So we need to create that button. All right, so how do we do that? Once the text tool is selected, click on this little arrow over there. Then click on the gear icon and then reset to. It goes back to the default which Photoshop comes in with. Okay, now we need to save this. Click on this button called create new tool preset, and then name it default. Okay, now anytime you wanna get back to the default, just click on that, it will be fine for you. Now let's create some presets. For example, for headlines, you use the font Babus New Way. So let's click on this and type in the font that we want, select the font weight, select the size that you want. In this case, I'm gonna again choose 450. Now you need to test this thing, and you have to type in this thing, it's very important. You just cannot use the free transform tool to make it bigger, no. You have to type in this thing beforehand, before typing the text. Or what you can do, you can type in the trial text, determine which numbers work best for you, and then type it in. Okay, choose the orientation, and inside of the characters, if you want some gap between them, you can choose the gap. So 25 is fine for me. And then let's type in something. For example, let's type in Africa. So let's go ahead and choose the color, do not select the text. So color, I wanted white, that is fine. Okay, now let's create the preset. Click on this arrow, click on this button, and you can name this headline, easy. Hit okay, and the next time you wanna create a headline, all you have to do, let's go back to the default. So this is the default. So if you wanna create a headline, just click on the headline, all these settings will show up, and you can type in anything that you like, anything. Okay, easy, the same thing. All right, now let's do one more. For example, you wanna keep the headline, say Africa. Not, okay, I don't know what I was thinking. All right, so let's make it a little bigger. You can adjust it, okay? So this gives you a very nice starting point. And then suppose you wanna create the subheadline. For example, save wildlife, okay? Let's make it smaller. and we need to change the font of this one. For example, I'll just double click on the T and let's see which font looks good here. Railway light, this is fine. Now let's add some gap to it, probably 100 or maybe even more. Hold the Alt or Option and with the left and right arrow keys, you can just increase the gap. This looks fine. And with the Move tool selected, Control or Command T, let's just adjust the size to this thing. Okay, that is looking awesome. Let's make it a little 
closer to this one now note down what the size where what the font was everything okay let's double click on this let's see it was railway light 105 sharp 380 okay now if you save the preset right now the size won't be registered so if i choose the text tool click on this little arrow and click on this new create tool preset button and then name it sub hit okay and see what happens if i create a new one look at the size it's totally off so that's why I asked you to dial it in. So keep in mind the numbers. You cannot just save preset. Let's delete it. Right click on it. Delete tool preset. Okay. Note the numbers. So it was 105 somewhere around that. Light railway 380. So we need to create a new layer. Better just deselect that with a text tool selected. Maybe create a new layer. Okay. See everything goes back to some strange number. We need to select. 380 380 was the gap over there that is fine we need to select the size what was the size i think the size was 105 so let's choose 105 railway light everything is right make sure everything is right and you have dialed that in and then click on this one and now let's create sub okay subhead all right now the subhead is sa saved Let's go back to the default and let's see whether the subhead works or not. So click on subhead, let's create a new layer and yeah, it's working. Amazing, right? I'm typing some messy stuff, but you get the idea. All right. Now there are two main things that you have to keep in mind. Number one, dial in the values beforehand, before typing anything and then save the preset. As we showed before, it just messed up. Okay. So dial in it previously then save the preset. If you want to test, then you can just test with the text and then remember the numbers and then create the preset before typing. Okay. Number two, you cannot just, just type something and apply a preset on it. It just doesn't happen. So for example, you're in Photoshop and you typed in Africa. Okay. And then maybe you selected it and you thought I'll just apply the headline preset on it. No, it just won't happen. You have to select the preset first and then type. Similarly, these presets can be applied to any tool. For example, even the eraser tool, you can choose mode, brush, pencil or whatever you like. You can just choose anything, the smoothing, the flow and everything will be saved. However, here's what I would suggest. Any tool which is based upon the brush, I would insist that you create a brush preset instead of a tool preset. Now, what is the difference? Well, a brush preset is something which lies over here. Okay, so this, these are the brush presets, special effect brushes, wet media brushes. These are brush presets, tool presets, which lie over here. Okay, so there's a difference between brush preset and a tool preset. Now, here's why I ask you to create brush presets for brush based tools. So what are brush based tools? Any tool which has the brush involved, for example, brush tool always has the brush involved right over there. The eraser has the brush involved. The smudge tool has the brush involved. Any tool in which you can select the brush. Those are brushed based tools. So for example, you select the brush tool. So if you try to create a tool preset, it gives you a warning, not just a suggestion actually. Would you like to create a brush preset instead? Because brush presets actually saves tool presets as well inside of that. So for example, you select a normal brush. Let's cancel that. For example, you select normal, general normal brush and not the clone stamp, just a normal brush. And let's just select this brush. And maybe let's create a new layer and let's start painting. So this is just a normal general brush, nothing special about it. But you made something special about it. You decreased the opacity, probably you, you decreased the flow, you increased the smoothing, and then you went to windows and then brush settings. Maybe you made it a little thinner. Maybe you went to scattering and you scattered it. Maybe you went to brush tip shape, you just spaced it out, decreased the size. And you did all that kinds of stuff, color dynamics. Do, okay, so you can just play with these things. Maybe we can increase the dual brush. You can just go crazy with these things. Transfer, flow jitter and stuff like that. Let's just go crazy with this. Let's go to shape dynamics. Let's apply some angle jitter. Okay, so we have created this crazy brush. You can just simply paint that here. Okay, easy. Now, suppose you want to save it. So instead of saving it as a tool preset, here's what I would suggest save that as a brush to preset so let's click in here click here so not here inside of the tool inside of the brush selection 
then click on this one. So you can name it anything that you like. I'm gonna name it uh, Nemesis Brush, okay? And then there's a checkbox, include tool settings. So it, it will include all of the tool settings that we have selected, like opacity, flow, right? The same thing. It can also include the color. It can also capture the brush size in the preset. Right now the size is 47. So it can also capture that in the preset. Hit OK. Okay, so there you have this brush. You can also keep it in any folder that you like. So you can just keep it in wet media folder, dry media folder, or you can have your own organization. So that's the advantage of creating a brush preset. You can just select it anytime you like and just play with it. Everything is done. So for brush based tools, like the brush tool, the eraser tool, the smudge tool, create brush preset. And for the other tools like the text tool, create tool preset. So that's how to work much faster with tool presets and brush presets in Photoshop. So how to create them? Just dial in the settings that you want. If you're creating a tool preset, click on that little drop down arrow and click on that new tool preset button. Just click on that one and save it. If you're creating a brush preset, click on that arrow just beside it and do the same thing. So that's pretty much it. Hope this tutorial helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like and also do not forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.